Kaspars, four times world champion. What does it take to uh, get this kind of uh, guy in the sidecar? Uh, just, uh, just a normal person conversation and uh, and that's about it. I, I, I like Gert and uh, we have been texting uh, quite a while and uh, I saw him riding already for many years and uh, and I like his style so uh, yeah we had some discussions here and there sometimes and um, now it's great that we can do some riding together. So you're not afraid of him? No for sure not. I think he's more afraid from me. <laughs> no I'm just kidding. No. So uh, compared with your uh, new new teammate or old teammate, uh, how does uh, Kert seem like? Yeah, for sure. Those are uh, like Williamson and Bucks. Those are uh, different riders. They are uh, they are champions and they are they are the best on the world. And uh, they have been riding from from the from when they was child at, at least from four, five, six years old. And uh, Gerd, as I, I know that he. He did not start so early, so yeah, it's a it's a huge difference. But I love to see how he is progressing uh, week after week, and and uh, feeling comfortable to, to ride with me, and and I really enjoy. So, um, what's the what was the first advice from you to get? Yeah, just twist the throttle, <laughs> twist the throttle. <laughs> no, uh, there is a. I, I feel like he 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 can. Uh, push more on the corner so that was uh, the main thing like uh, he is a quite a good jumper that that felt all right uh, to jump with him um, it's it's difficult you know you sometimes can say too much information and then uh, like in Ali I was also like cooking myself from inside and gave too much information then I understand we need to do a step by step uh, and so we do and uh, and now it's nice also to see that he uh, during the week uh, thinks it over uh, what we talk and what we learn, and um, uh, yeah, it seems that that we make a good, uh, good and huge steps forward. So basically, we can say that uh, he listens to you. I, I guess so. I think the results are uh, uh, showing some that that that, and also the people from the side they they say that that we. We ride faster, and he rides faster, and this is nice to see. But uh, has he uh, taught you something or some kind of uh, new information? Because you have uh, ridden <laughs> decades. No, not really. But uh, I am. I am not the guy. Like for me, my mission always have been in the sidecar, uh, uh, not to have a cool style or something, but. My mission is to help the rider go as fast as he wants, and uh, and with my experience, I can give him some information, and I'm always open uh, to talk about. You know, like if I, uh, I am also not perfect, and and sometimes I uh, I do mistakes, and uh, and if he has something, he can always say, and uh, and I feel myself. You know, I I am quite critical to myself, and I try to be as perfect as I can. Um, there is a Baltic joke that the Estonians are very slow. Is it true? Uh, yeah. Do you have a world champion in Estonia in the sidecar cross? No. So, yeah, they are a bit slower, <laughs> a bit slower. <laughs> but uh, this year has been very strange uh, about this uh, coronavirus and uh, all the championship has been cancelled. Uh, uh, what is the, what does your future bring? I don't know. I think it's too early to talk about, and uh, I like everybody is quite quite sad about the situation. But I really enjoy the summer like this. I love come to Estonia. I love to do races here. I love to ride solo in Latvia, and um, we did a couple of races with Gert also in Latvia, and I uh, hope he will come also to Madrona next week. And so I really enjoy it, and I think nobody knows what this what the future will be you know we, we need to see week after week and the rules are changing and and then the virus is gone and then it's again back and we don't know we don't know i for sure i want to go on with with riding i don't want to stop or something after a season i i still believe and think that i have still one or two gp seasons in me you know like that i can 
then I am capable to do that and uh, we'll see. So you are one of the fittest uh, sidecar racers in the world. Uh, how does it? Uh, what is your day like? How do you train? I was maybe the fittest, not anymore. <laughs> this summer has been quite, uh, from the physical side, it has been quite lazy for me, uh, to be honest. Um, I more uh, enjoy riding the solo and uh, not so much uh, the physical uh, conditioning training because if you want to ride a solo bike uh, quite good, you need to spend a lot of hours. And uh, I ride two, three times in a week and then one one time competition and takes a lot of time and, uh, and preparation. But uh, normally when there is a GP season that I like in the preparation time, I, I train like two or three times in a day. And, uh, and when the season comes, then, then it's just some cycling gym, just the regular things to, to stay fit. And uh, because the GP is like totally another story. Uh, you need to put so much effort in it with the, with the traveling, with with booking and preparation. It's it's totally different story. Now it's now it's like more fun. You come to Estonia, do the race, and in the evening you are back home. Uh, when you do the GPs, it's uh, it takes quite a lot of energy. Also, besides of riding, you know. So. Um to finish up this uh, nice interview, what is the key to success? Uh, never give up. That's what I always say. Uh, just believe in yourself, and even if you do uh, do fall or do do mistake, uh, just keep looking forward and and never give up. Because in the end of the day, you if you if you don't succeed one time, it can be a next year or a year after or a race after. So. Always believe in yourself and, and analyze yourself and never give up. That's very good advice. Thank you very much and good luck. Thank you, guys.